Hey guys, uh, KG5IN here. I wanted to go ahead and try to reuse this old uh, computer that I have uh, no use for. Um, it's basically an old system that I was using and it just got old and sluggish and I said, you know what? Um, and power supplies for the ham radio are very expensive. Um, they can be. Uh, of course, they're, they're designed and you know, got cool features on them and meters and all that good stuff. Um, but I also found that you can utilize your old computer power supply. So, uh, the project here is to take this power supply. If you can read this, it, it actually says that it's rated at 12 volts, 18 amps. Um, I've done some tests on my ham radio at full power and it's only drawing um, four and a half amps. Um, not even that actually. Uh, it's a total output of 50 watts. You do the math, it comes out to like four 4.2 or 4.3 amps something like that so I've got plenty of amperage available on this uh, the voltage is at 12 volts it stays at a consistent 12.0 um, it does not go above the 12.0 but if you throw a meter on it it actually shows 13 uh, it's kind of weird I don't maybe it's something to do with the wiring but anyways uh, so I'm going to utilize this and what you're going to do is you're going to look for this uh, P1 pin adapter okay and you can actually go online and Google that. Now, some uh, computers will have a P2. Um, that's fine too. You just see a different pin out, so you have to figure out which uh, cables to cut. Um, you're looking for a 12 plus and a ground, okay? And if you look here, uh, and if I'm reading this correctly, it's pin number either 21 or 22, depending on which way you go. Uh, I don't know, but anyways, it's the white one is the the 12 volt positive and then this uh, negative which was right next to it I just used that pretty much any of these black ones are negative but it seemed like a little bit thicker cable so I went ahead and clipped that so you got your white 12 volt, volt positive you got your ground right here and you just clip those or you can you know find a different way to get a little adapter for this if they make them then for the power to turn it on to turn on the power supply you have to clip this green one, which is a uh, pin one, two, three, four, five, six, pin seven or pin eight, uh, depending on which way you look at it. And you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a green one right there. And then uh, I clipped another one uh, negative next to that, so that when you touch them together, it makes contact and powers on the power supply. This orange one ignore that okay uh, it was just a, a, a whoops on my end so I just forget about it so when you go to look at the wires after you've cut them you've got your ground and your green which turn on the power supply then you have your negative black cable here and your positive 12 volts don't worry nothing's hooked up and here's the power supply here's the computer I'm going to try to utilize that fan right there to draw nice cool air into this box. Also, I've got another fan that I'm going to uh, plug into the back of this. Now, because of cutting it, these pins that are normally plugged into the computer right here are not going to fit these because these are for the motherboard. So you have to cut these and figure out which one's positive and negative to do that. Okay, now I've got everything tied up. Um, I've got the power cable, which is this red one, plugged into the white and black on the cables that are coming through here. And I've created a switch. And actually, if you see this blue cable, that's for the LED of the switch. Um, later on, I will go ahead and drill a hole and have the switch poking through the front possibly right there. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and flip this on. And if you notice, the LED turns on. And the fan is on. You can kind of see it going. And I've got the electrical coming out over here. There, It's fused, so it comes all the way out here. There's fuses right there comes all the way up and here's the uh, connector that plugs into the radio not the best connectors but they'll do the trick 
and it's all heat shrinked. And I'm gonna go ahead and kill the switch. And there you go. Power off, the unit's all set. I'm gonna go ahead and close this up and hook up the radio. Okay, so this is part of the complete project. It's almost done. I've gotta drill a hole and put the switch in here and put the cover back on right here. Then if you look up here, got the wire coming up, kinda of plugged into the connector there. Come over here and there you go. Okay, so this is the semi-finalized product. Here's the power switch. You can see that kicked on. And if we jump up over here, got the power going, running exactly 12 volts, which is not bad. And uh, the unit, like I said, puts out 18 amps and 12 volts. Occasionally it drops to 11.9, but that's that's pretty normal. The cable's kind of long, but uh, anyway. So that's that's where the unit sits. Um, later on, I'm gonna have a cooling fan underneath it uh, to blow some nice cool air. Here's the uh, fan. It's a pretty nice little little fan, you know. So I'll have this mounted up like this, sitting up on something a little a little bit elevated to draw in some nice cool air, blow it up on underneath the unit where the cooling vents are. Uh, it shouldn't require that, but you know, just for kicks, I guess. And that's it. KG5 IN, all clear.